International condemnation appears to be having no impact on Iran. Just days after it was called out on its secret, secret nuclear facility this morning, it reportedly tested at least two long-range missiles. Missiles, Tehran claims, could reach American bases in the Gulf region, Israel and parts of Europe. Mideast Affairs senior editor Octavia Nasser is joining us now with some analysis. So, Octavia, tell us about the timing of these missile launches. Why is it significant? What was Iran trying to achieve? The timing is key here, of course, uh, Namua. You have to think about uh, uh, President Ahmadinejad here in the U.S. to address the U.N. Uh, General Assembly. They make an announcement only uh, two days ago about a second uh, uranium enrichment facility in Iran that they had kept secret. And then next thing you know, they're testing these missiles. Now, earlier this year, uh, Iran did speak about uh, missiles that uh, it's been working on. They did mention that they can reach uh, Israel and U.S. bases in the Middle East. So for them to test fire these missiles today, this weekend, on Yom Kippur, very important day, the holiest uh, uh, holiday uh, in the Jewish calendar, and for Jews around the world to launch these um, uh, missiles on the day, on the weekend, is very significant, especially after the announcement that these missiles can reach at the heart of Israel and U.S. bases in the Middle East. So definitely the timing is suspect, the timing is very interesting, and it's uh, definitely sending shockwaves, uh, not just across the Middle East, but across the world, as you know. Well, let's focus in a bit on those reactions from Israel and the Middle East. Israel, we know, has described Iran's nuclear program as an existential threat. What are you hearing? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're hearing strong uh, condemnation from inside Israel. It is to be expected, of course. Uh, Israel's foreign minister, uh, Lieberman, who is a hardliner, basically he's asking for an overthrow of the Iranian regime. He's saying there's no way uh, that uh, Israel can feel comfortable with this kind of regime in place. Uh, he's really uh, uh, sending a very strong message about uh, what Israel would like to do uh, with uh, th this current regime in Iran. Uh, of course, uh, Israel's uh, prime minister has asked uh, the U.S. to take a very firm stand on Iran and, and, and try to figure out how to handle the situation. Israel is very vocal, of course, about uh, the threat that uh, they feel that they can sense from Iran. But of course, when you look at the region, uh, you know, Israel itself is a threat to uh, many countries uh, in the Middle East, all countries, as a matter of fact. Uh, so, so this threat that uh, for, for the region, for the Arab world, for example, the rest of the Middle East, when they look at what Iran is doing, uh, they look also at Israel and, and they feel that now these two powers are playing a game that is very dangerous for all of them. So you have the whole Middle East right now on hold, uh, very concerned about uh, what's going on. So Octave, you said that Israel is asking for a tough action from the U.S. How tough is the U.S. ready to get? And of course, the U.S. We heard from President Obama over the weekend. I mean, that was a very, uh, uh, very uh, tough uh, language that he used. Him and President Sarkozy of France and and Prime Minister Brown of Great Britain, uh, they were very clear, saying that this is not going to be acceptable, and they want uh, uh, they want Iran to be transparent about uh, uh, the nuclear facility. Of course, uh, th that reaction was about the the extra nuclear facility that no one had known about. And, uh, and Iran said that they will allow the inspectors, the UN inspectors, into that facility. But in the meantime, right after that announcement, the, uh, the, the missile test, uh, that is now getting people very concerned, uh, and that is making people pay attention to Israel's concern when they say, look, these guys, the Iranians, don't have a peaceful plan. Their plan is clearly to attack Israel and attack U.S. bases in the Middle East. So we wait and see uh, the diplomacy and, and how it's going to be dealing with that. It's a little bit too early uh, to, to gauge, to know what the U.S. is willing to do or how far it's willing to go. But we know as far as that nuclear facility, uh, the uranium enrichment uh, facility, uh, President Obama and uh, the President of France and Prime Minister of Britain, they did say that sanctions seem to be the answer and they gave uh, Iran a deadline of December basically saying if they don't cooperate that tough sanctions will be imposed and that seems to be the way uh, things are going to be going from now on. All right, we'll have to see how effective those sanctions are if indeed they succeed in getting those in place. Uh, Octavia, thank you very much for joining us. That's Octavia Nasser, our Mideast Affairs Senior Editor.